Hi everyone, welcome to Rustic Chickadee. My name is Angela and today I'm just going to take you through a quick video of some boxes that I've reclaimed. Uh, so I think I've mentioned it before but I am a member of St. Albert BMX. We're a local nonprofit. My current role there is Vice President and uh, we've been kind of hit hard by the pandemic. Uh, you know, we don't have a whole lot of extra money kicking around for some projects and so what I'm working on today is I am repurposing uh, some boxes or reclaiming them, I guess, they're not being repurposed. Uh, I'm just going to take you through and show you what you're going to need. So this here is the after. I didn't take a video of the before, but I can definitely show you the after. Uh, so what it is, is just a box. All we do is uh, we keep our letters in here. Uh, so the girls box, we have white letters. And in the boys' box, we have black letters. They go, they go on plates, you know, obviously depending on what class you're racing. Uh, so why I brought it home in the first place was I needed to do some more letters. And the boxes were hideous, so I decided to just go ahead and make them a little bit prettier. Next, I'm going to walk you through the supplies that you're going to need. Uh, so for starters, you're going to want some primer. Whatever you're reclaiming, it should have a nice solid base for the paint that you're going to stick to. Uh, me personally, I stuck with the traditional colors, blue and pink. I chose metallic because I like shiny. I like sparkly. Um, I decided not to use sparkles because not everybody loves them as much as I do. So no big deal. Uh, I think the boxes still turned out beautifully. Uh, another thing that you are going to need is some sort of like a vinyl or something. For me, I just use shelf paper. I get it at the dollar store. It's super cheap and it does what I need. So why go, why go to the expensive stores and buy the expensive stuff when I can just get this? Uh, you're going to need some painter's tape because you're not going to want to have any overspray anywhere. Otherwise, you're going to wreck your beautiful paint job that you're going to do. And um, once you're... Once you're done, like you're going to need this to kind of pick out the letters, as you'll see. And um, once the once that's all done, uh, use whatever color you want. I just chose a nice neutral one because it goes with everything. So that is all you need. Oh, and a cutter. Uh, I use a Cricut, but there's tons of options on the market. You use whatever you want. Um, and now you can just enjoy the video. And if you're going to be making anything like this, I'd love to hear about it. So I hope you post in the comments. Thanks. Bye.